The National Football League preseason has just started, but President Trump is in midseason form in tweeting his displeasure with some players over their national anthem protests. Senior correspondent Rick Leventhal shows us tonight from Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. On the first night of the first full week of the NFL preseason, the national anthem controversy erupted again. Miami Dolphins wide receivers Kenny Stills and Albert Wilson kneeled during the song. Eagles safety Malcolm Jenkins and several others raised fists. One player trotted onto the field while the anthem played, and some members of the Seahawks and Jaguars stayed out of sight until the music stopped. Being a part of this protest hasn't been easy. Um, and, you know, I've, I've, I thought I was going to be by, my, by myself out there. And uh, today I had, I had an angel with me, uh, with Albert being out there. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that he sees what's happening and he wants to stand up and, and do something about it as well. The president, a strong opponent of the protest since last September, tweeted, the NFL players are at it again, taking a knee when they should be standing proudly for the national anthem. Numerous players from different teams wanted to show their outrage at something that most of them are unable to define. Be happy, be cool. A football game that fans are paying so much money to watch and enjoy is no place to protest. Stand proudly for your national anthem or be suspended without pay. In May, the NFL updated its rules, obligating players to stand during the anthem or wait in the locker room until it finished. But the NFL Players Union argued this violated the collective bargaining agreement. So the league agreed to freeze enforcement while discussions continue. Colin Kaepernick, who launched the protest two years ago, tweeted support for Dolphins, Stills, and Wilson. And the Eagles' Jenkins posted a picture in a T-shirt proclaiming 60% of the prison population are people of color. Roughly 70% of NFL players are black. Everybody's kind of waiting to see what the league is going to do. Um, that doesn't mean that, that we stop, you know, what, what we've been standing up for. In a statement, the NFL says its policy is still that all players and personnel on the field are expected to stand during the anthem. But those who don't won't be disciplined while discussions between the league and the players continue. Mike? Rick Leventhal with the latest on the president versus some NFL players. Rick? Thank you.